Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a quick video before I depart tonight. I'm going to potentially wait in line at the New York store for Nintendo for the release of Smash Brothers, which is a midnight launch tomorrow night. Um, this will be definitely the longest I'll have ever waited in line for something and I'm intimidated by it because it's freezing up here but um, if I can be first in line that would be amazing I feel like the exposure would help my channel and I also feel like it would just be nice to say that I was first in line at this particular store um, because it's such a big event uh, I don't know exactly who's gonna show up to the event but usually someone within the company of notable rank will come so we'll see and um, yeah, no, I'm just super excited for this, but I'm also hesitant. The reason I'm doing this video, actually, is to do with an announcement that I'm hoping I don't miss tomorrow. Uh, with it being the Game Awards, Nintendo is rumored to be showing off Metroid Prime 4, Metroid Prime Trilogy HD, which I'm really stoked about. I mean, I'm stoked for both, but I'm glad that they made the decision to bring out the trilogy. Um, I'm hoping for controls that span every gamer's preference, you know, maybe a little motion control, maybe a little traditional, uh, maybe a combination of both as well, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. But I also heard that they may be showing off Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, which I think is a great idea, especially if they also introduce traditional controls to that game because I feel like that was probably the, the biggest misstep with that game. Uh, it, it actually had great music, it had a, a nice style, and I feel like it'll finally be properly realized uh, with this version. Um, just because the Wii version was so pixelated and it just didn't, it didn't give the style that they were going for, that Monet kind of style didn't give it that the justice it deserved so I'm really excited to see how it looks on this system um, yeah and aside from the motion controls the game was actually really fun and really engaging now you know a lot of people on the internet are actually talking about what they think w Nintendo will show off at the game awards and and that's been it you know those three games potentially and there some of them the legends all the Skyward Sword is actually a new uh, rumor so we'll see tomorrow I mean I'm really excited for this news but a lot of people forget that Nintendo also behind the scenes has been working on their theme park and I think it's very important to keep that in mind that at the game awards with it being a company like Nintendo that they they could potentially show this off I have so many high hopes for this theme park you know a lot of people probably keep their expectations fairly grounded but with me because I consider Nintendo a digital toy company I imagine that they are going to in some ways take technology that obviously already exists and use that in their theme park um, to like take theme park experiences to the next level so I can imagine some of their rides involving uh, VR, I could imagine some of their rides involving holograms, I could imagine a whole lot of things, um, which I'm going to do a separate video on, like my ideas of what should be the, the types of rides that we should see in this theme park. But uh, I, I could imagine them announcing something or showing something off, you know, giving us a better idea of what we're going to experience at this theme park. So there's just, there's so many things that could happen tomorrow. And so I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited too. And yeah, day after that, smash! And I will be waiting in line that whole time. <laughs> I, uh, I love you guys. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. It makes my day. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.